Hello friends, welcome to Mathematics Colio. Today we will discuss an application of Chinese remainder theorem. So a uh, question is in front of you, let's read it first. Then we'll try and we'll uh, learn how to apply Chinese remainder theorem in this question. Question is find number of integers and with one to 2000, n is from one to 2017, so that n minus two, n minus zero, n minus one, n minus seven, is an integer multiple of 1001. Integer multiple of 1001 is same as integer multiple of 7 as well as 11 as well as 13. So we have to find number of possible values of n for which this product is multiple of 1001. I'm naming this product as lambda. So lambda is n minus 2 n n minus 1, n minus 7, lambda should be multiple of 1001. That is 7 into 11 into 13. Okay. Now, for lambda to be multiple of 7, which possible values of n means which are the possible values, which values n can take so that lambda is multiple of 7 are n should be either, n should be either congruent to 2 or 0 or 1 modulo 7. So th these are 3. These are 3 possible values for possible values of n for which lambda is multiple of 7. 3 possible values. Similarly, if we will check possible values of n in residue, possible values of n for which product is multiple of 11 is 2 or 0 or 1 or 7 modulo 11. Total there are 4 values. At the same time, these all 4 values are for 13 also. It means, it means there are 3 possible values in residue system of 7 four possible values in residue system of 11, four possible values in residue system of 13, so that product is multiple of, multiple of 1001. Now, uh, if we want to calculate value of n, then I'm, I'm writing here, one such value of n means one solution of the system which I'm writing here, one solution of the system give us one value, one value, uh, one value of n. For example, if n is, if n is one modulo seven, and n is two modulo eleven, and n is seven modulo thirteen, solution of this system will give us required value of n. Right now, you have to check how many this system, these type of systems are possible. How many these type of systems are possible? You can check for seven. There are three possibility for eleven, four, for thirteen. There are four. So, if we want to calculate total number of triplets, total number of triplets, or total number of systems, then those triplets are. Then those triplets are 3 into 4 into 4, 48 triplet. Now, if you remember, if you want solution, we want 48 are the number of triplets. Okay. Now we have to calculate how many possible values of n from 1 to 2017 are there. Okay, 1 to 2017 are there. First of all, if you see this system, if you see this system, in this system, we can apply Chinese remainder theorem and by Chinese remainder theorem, by Chinese remainder theorem, we can say there exists exactly one value of n. There exists exactly one value of n belongs to 1 to 1000 and n should be integer there should be exactly one value of n belongs to 1 to 1001 where n is an integer for which 
for which uh, for which this triplet is possible for which this triplet is possible or we can say in every stretch of 1001 numbers we will get unique solution we will get unique solution of this system for every stretch of 1001 numbers we will get unique solution of this system okay unique solution of this system and how many systems are there we have 48 this type of systems or we can say 48 triplets so 1 to 1001 we can say there are 48 values of there are 48 values of n for which lambda is multiple of 7 as well as 11 as well as 13 okay or we can say for every stretch of 1001 integers we will have 48 values and our question is to find number of n from 1 to 2007 sorry 1 to 2017 for which lambda is multiple of and for which lambda is multiple of n now uh, for every stretch of 1001 number how many possible values of n it these are 48 so we can say from 1017 to 2017 from 1017 to 2017 we will have 48 values similarly from 16 to 2016 we will have 48 values of n now the only problem which is remaining that how many values of n that how many values of n are possible from 1 to 15 so that lambda is multiple of n okay and what is lambda i'm writing lambda here again lambda is equals to n minus 2 into n into n minus 1 into n minus 7 first we will check because lambda should be multiple of 7 or and 11 and 13 first of all let's check for 7 for how many values of n lambda is divisible by 7 these values you can see directly these are 1 right 2 okay 7 8 9 14 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total 7 values of n are possible for which lambda is multiple of multiple of uh 2001 now we want that lambda should be multiple of 11 as well for that out of these values which values are possible obvious values are obvious values are 1 2 and 7 8 let's check for 8 9 14 and 15 means if n is 8 if n is 8 is lambda multiple of 13 no similarly you can check for 9 14 and 15 okay so uh, all these three well all these four values for any of these four values lambda is not multiple of uh, 11 and 13 that's why from this set from set 1 to 15 we are getting only three values so how many total number of n are possible how many total number of n are possible you can check it from you can check it 48 plus 48 plus 3 it is 96 plus 3 that is 99 okay that's it hope you enjoyed this question uh, please like the video subscribe the channel bye bye for now